we came into Stormvale Castle on the last one, and on this one, if I remember, I'm going to put right at the beginning of the video here, a short section of recapturing our runes after the previous video, and we had lost them kind of toward the end of the video. Now, I think we've already kind of been over this way before, but because I'm an idiot, I'm going to go ahead and include this and also get hit by the bomb. And I was really just kind of hoping that it would be able to show off that I know how to fight these stupid birds, but I don't think that's actually the case. Hi, how you doing? You're too high for me to hit. That's annoying. Ow. Okay, let's get rid of you. And I realize, need to heal. Take care of that in a second. Yes, yeah, that's not too, too, too terrible. Just mostly terrible. We have not yet, however, gone this direction. So today we're going to go down this way because... I'm hoping this will get to where I want to be. Now, the interesting thing is, I haven't really gone this way before. I have said, I will continue to say, I'll stop saying that I have uh, played this game or am playing this game with some friends. So some of the stuff, little bits and pieces here and there I have done. Oh, I sort of recognize this spot, I think. Yes, this looks familiar, but uh, I don't recognize all of it, so I am kind of a little lost on some parts, but really what I'm trying to do is get us down because we need to, uh, okay. Well, that worked out okay, good. I thought that was going to be some damage. Well, let's go talk to this guy since we're here. Ah, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. A sorcerer, as uh, you might have guessed. I'm looking for a little something here in the castle. When I'm not hot-footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know? They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind. I see. Here to challenge Godric and lay your hands upon a great rune, are you? You can see it then, I take it. The guidance of grace. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm tarnished, like you. But unlike you, I've seen neither hide nor hair of this guidance for the longest time. Still, I won't forget how it felt when I first came here, to the lands between. I'm privy to a few magical battle arts. Would you care to learn one? As a fellow tarnished, once guided by grace, I'd love to help you out, if it please. Oh, it does, please. So you have a glintstone pedal, pebble, a carrion greatsword, and spinning weapon. I don't know that any of these are really going to be anything we will use. I mean, I'm honestly, I'd kind of like to try some of these out just to see. I mean, like this one sounds fun. Carrion royal prestige embodied in a skill. Transform blade into a magical greatsword and swing it down. Can be charged to increase its power. I mean... That sounds kind of fun. Pebble, you know, anything that'll give us some distance. Like, some of those things maybe not a bad idea. Oh, keen to... Just thought I'd see if he has any more dialogue. He does not. Now, we're not going to worry too much about those battle arts, but you remember, we actually summoned him for the fight with... Oh, I can't think of his name now. The, uh, the guy that basically got us into this area. He, defeating him, allowed us to get passage into this place. If I could remember his name, that would be super helpful. I can't, so I'm not going to say his name right now. So it's kind of interesting that we've now met Roger, and I think he'll probably come up again, because that tends to be how NPCs work in this game, is, uh, you know, you meet one and you end up talking to him again. Later on, they often have quests and that sort of thing for you. I'm going to back off a little bit, because these guys we know are bad, bad news, and in fact... Let me just give you one of those. I thought maybe that would be a good way to start. Oh, that was pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that. Holy crap, dude, you need to calm down. Okay, let's do some jumpy business. Because these guys are weak to jump attacks. They are not good at defending. You jump at them, and they want to hit you. That appears to be a weak spot for them, as far as I can tell. So this ladder is the one we were just looking down from, essentially. And then this, I believe, is going to get us in 
a little more into Stormvale here. Now, I think where this is right now, we are underneath where we kind of started. So let's see what we got here. Golden Rune 2. Excellent. We'll take that. That is free money. And then we're going to just kind of go sneaky mode here. You can see there's someone across the way behind a chest. And let's see if there's anyone else up here. Oh, we do have you over here. I'm just going to go ahead and go for a jump attack because that seems like the best way to deal with them. And then I'm going to dive a couple of times just to make sure. Okay, now this room, there's a lot going on in here. What is that sound, by the way? I keep hearing something. There's a purple item over there that I would love to get to. I don't think we can get to that just yet. There's an awesome painting down there, and there's one of those things down there. I hate those. I'll be honest. I'm not entirely sure how to kill it solo aside from kill it with fire. And if that is needed, then um, kill it with fire we shall. We'll see if it comes to that. This guy I do know can be cheesed a little bit, which um, honestly, I'm okay with that. I don't mind. And then looks like we have a big giant hanging upside down and uh, some dogs down there. One dog, two dog, two dogs, okay. Oh crap, there's another one of those night guys right there. Let's see if we can get in. Do I have, I don't have, uh oh, my bad. I was hoping that I had an item that we don't yet have. So that didn't work out at all. Okay. I don't mean to be crouching. Oh, um. Right, can I hit you with that and break your poise for just a moment? Because that's really all I want to do is stagger you briefly. Here, we're just going to back away. And he's going to have one more big attack, usually. Crap, you're going to do that again? I told you he has one more big attack. Hi. I think I can just keep hitting him and he'll die. That's fine. I'm going to call that acceptable because those guys and I don't get along very well. Now there's some sandbags over here. Looks like we can jump on. Oh, we got fire guy here. I think they often have the horns, if I remember what I have seen before. Thank you for not falling over the edge, because then we can get that mushroom from you. Gold pickled foul foot. That's going to let us get more runes when we kill people. So that's good stuff. We'll probably use that at some point. Just going to kind of go around the perimeter here. This is just where we were, I believe. No, it's not. That is not where we just were. I thought it was. Well, then where in the world are we? Let's go up then. I want to see where this takes us to. Oh, we're on the other side of where we just were. Got it, because that's the ladder down. Wait a minute. No, it's not. Where are we? I am so turned around. Is that where we fought the one, the big guy, the big cat guy? I think it is, because I'm pretty sure I recognize those statues. So, okay then. I realize now I have no clue where we are. We can get to that guy, and that's... The backside of where the giant is hanging. I'm trying to see if there's any doorways in there. I can't really tell. I want to go kill that guy at some point just to try and, and see what happens there. I'd like to know if that is a way to get to anything else. But I think what we'll do for now is go in here because I see a treasure chest and I am easily persuaded. You give me treasure chest, I give you a sucker walking into a room. I think this is where we just were, though. So I think this is actually not too big a deal. Mimics fail, yes, okay. So this is where the guy with the halberd just was, and if we look to the right, that's where that guy is. So we would have been in here just fine. It's just, it's an alternate way to get around over here. And if I had remembered yet again, which I didn't... Oh... Interesting. So yes, there's two different pathways right there. If I had remembered, which I clearly did not, then I would have grabbed the telescope so we could look over there, but that's eh, fine. We don't need it right now. I don't like any of those chairs, so I'm going to roll through them. Uh, let's go get rid of this guy. Hi, how you doing? Okay. Oh, you're busy doing that. Oh, good. Perfect. You didn't need much for a pulley's break. Got his hood. And this door does not open from this side. 
Okay, got it. So you know what? Oh, hi. How you doing? Oh, my bad. Where did that guy even come from? Oh, he must have been down here and then he came up. All right. I'm tracking now. I'm tracking. I see where things are going to go. So here, let's go back up here. We're going to jump on the sandbags over here. Run around the corner. Then we're going to climb the ladder. And then that is going to take us to where that guy is seated over on the other side. And then maybe that's going to get us into another area too. I'm not sure. So here, we're going to just... Um, jump down on this guy. How you doing, sir? That's me being a sport and giving you a, a chance to get ready for whatever is coming. i go ahead and go into two-handed mode. I didn't realize I wasn't. Okay, so this door is now open. That lets us get through this way, which... Is there anything over here? This is going to be where this guy is, next to the chest. And just like that, we have figured out how to get over to this treasure chest. Which my friends and I completely missed. Excellent. That was not worth it in the treasure chest, but the key, key probably was. Okay, so we are, how do we get out of here then? We can only drop down into this messy, messy business. I don't really want to drop down where that guy is without having a better clue of where I am. I'm thinking what I want to do is this. Okay, and then I'm going to back away because that attack will hurt, and this is a safe room to back into, so this is perfect. Excellent. Okay, how you doing? So I got to figure out how to fight this guy. So the first step is, how do you feel about fire? And the answer is, uh, it hurts. Oh, you're doing a lot of stabby and a big stab, and that would have been the perfect opportunity to get in there and get an attack in. Okay, it's going to be another opportunity for an attack. I don't really want to be behind you. Nope. I'm just going to cheese the crap out of you. I am not too proud to admit that. Okay. Let's see if I can maybe bait an attack. Okay, I needed to wait a little longer. My bad. Here. You want to hold on to that? Oh, you're getting pretty close. Just out of curiosity, since I don't... Hi. I don't really know if it's effective on these guys. Oh, one more. Oh, I think that one missed. I mean, obviously it missed. That was a hemorrhage, I believe, so... They can be hemorrhaged. That is good information for me, because I don't like those guys. I bet if I were to use my, my shield... Things would go better. Highland Axe. Okay. Take a look at that in just a second. Look at that. That is insane. Look at that painting. I mean, I kind of wonder, like... No, that's not... That wouldn't be Blyde. It's a uh, wolf, not lion. But that is quite the axe. Now, is that the axe we just picked up? I don't think it is. I have so many weapons. I really need to put some of these away, right? So that we don't have to go... Trying to figure out where the thing is we just got. So Highland Axe, single-sided axe used by the warriors of the Highlands. Brave combatants begin battle by crying out their names. Roars are enhanced by this weapon. I mean, no, definitely not the same weapon. He looks like he has a great axe. The Highland Axe here is a, a single-handed axe. This looks like... Maybe this is a grafting room, or it's at least a grafting preparation room. I mean, we've got spines and arms and hands and... I think it's all arms. There's no legs. No, I take it back. There's a leg right there. So there are some legs. Multiple legs. I see legs. This is very, very disturbing. Like, seriously. Very incredibly disturbing. Out of curiosity, is there anything here? Doesn't look like it. Anything behind you? Doesn't look like it. This is super important because this is going to be a shortcut down from the grace that we're currently using. So that's going to help us get around when we're trying to go up, down, left, right, that sort of thing. Let's go ahead and check what's in front of the statue here. A somber smithing stone 2. 
Excellent. I will gladly take as many of those as I can get. We have ourselves a statue here, which likes, looks like it's going to take one key. And since we just got one, it's not that big a deal to go ahead and use it. And let's um, maybe get rid of that message and then go in just to see if there's anything in here waiting for us. Doesn't look like it. Hi, how you doing? You're going to get staggered on that one. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Iron Wet Blade. Let us take a look at that post haste. I don't know where... I guess you would be under... Key items, maybe? Maybe? There we go. Iron Wet Blade with a cipher engraved. Can be used as a whetstone knife when applying an affinity using Ashes of War. An additional affinity of heavy, keen, or quality can be chosen. That basically means we can now always choose one of those three affinities regardless of the Ash of War we're putting on a weapon, if I understand how that works. Ah, oh, Miseracord. Miseracord. Let us take a look outside here. There is a guy. I don't know if there are any items out here. It does not look like it. And there is not really anywhere to go. Let us look at our equipment, and we are going to just straight up equip this guy if I can find it. There it is. Miseracord. Dagger favored by military physicians in white. The pointed blade is hard and sharp, making critical hits especially potent. Medicine is mercy, and mercy upon the battlefield is ruthless. Beware the killers clothed as men of compassion. The reason this thing is so awesome is look right in the attack power box there, look at critical. Our twin blade is a plus six, it's a critical of 100. Miseracord is a straight up zero, the critical of 140. Now obviously the level doesn't affect the critical, but I'm just showing you, even though this weapon is level zero, effectively, it is still ridiculously, potentially, highly useful because of that crazy high critical damage. So we'll have to, you know, give it a whirl with some fights here in the future. My bad. Totally missed on that jump attack. I think this guy is the bigger of the two. If not, it's just because I didn't do enough damage. Whatever. So we got a couple three things here. Let's grab this one. We got a golden rune one. Thanks for that. And a lump of flesh. Hey, not too shabby. And right here on this pile of stuff, chrysalid memento. Now that is super duper interesting because I did not get that item with my friends. And the funny thing is, they got this item. I did not. So let's look at it. Memento left by the chrysalid sacrificed for grafting. A brooch wrapped in red velvet. Traces of blood are visible. Faintly visible spirits try to convey something, but their voices cannot be heard. Now, someone is going to perhaps want that, I believe. And I don't know if... I'm supposed to assume that she left it or how that works out exactly. But I'm pretty sure we are going to take that to someone here before too long. And I think I want to maybe push a little further into this place before I jump out to do a little bit of uh, work, so to speak. Here, let's see, where's our lantern? Let's go ahead and turn it on. It's a little dark in here. Okay, you're going to go upstairs. That's fine. Let's see where this goes. This is one of those moments where I go, I don't remember. Looks like we're getting up top here, and there's a friend waiting for us. When I say friend, I mean foe, of course. At least I hope so. If that was, uh, if that's the dude we've been talking to all the while, my bad. Just murdered the crap out of him. I don't think it's him, but uh, if it was, oh well. Yeah, he's not bloody. The other guy's covered in blood, which probably means there are some questions to be had. So, we find ourselves in an interesting spot where I know we can get over here a different way, but there is some maybe fun to be had by going the way you really shouldn't, because, I don't know, it just might be kind of fun to do that. Hi, cat, you're making noise. Do you realize that? Let's throw a knife at him. See if we can get his, uh, ah, 
It's going to be one of those types of attentions, huh? Alright, well, if that's the case, then... I mean, I can... Oh. You can curve your shot. That doesn't seem fair. Hi, there's a wall in the way. Come on, stop and shoot. I don't have infinite arrows here, sir. There you go. Any year now. Any year now. Thank you for that. My goodness. Okay. So we'll just go back to our thingy majigger here. And I don't know how I want to play this one. I do kind of want to go out this way just because I think it's hilarious to go out this way. I mean, you really shouldn't, right? You just really shouldn't. I think we can all agree that it's a very bad way to go. Because you got all these dudes with crossbows, you got all these dudes with fire. Like, you're just, you're going to be, you're going to have a bad day if you go this way, so don't go this way. Oh, great. Everyone knows we're here now, that's fine. It's actually not that big a deal, I don't mind. Especially because we could do some shenanigans here. Where, oh hi, how you doing? I need to go back to this one. I was thinking, oh, we got his weapon. That's kind of cool. I don't mind that. I'm not unhappy about that. I was actually going to try to shoot some of these guys with the barrels, but um, that doesn't look like that's going to happen right now, so that's okay. How you doing? Not well. Okay. Now, I realize I shouldn't jump right in front of that, but that's kind of the fun, right? That is kind of the fun. Okay, who is doing that? I thought you were dead. Oh, you're a different guy. Never mind. I didn't... Crap, crap, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Just because I'm stubborn and I'm convinced I can make this work, I want to go out here again. And I know, they're about to blow the horn and everyone's going to get up and be like, oh, there's some idiot just came out here. Can you believe that? I know. I know. Oh, that is really weird. Okay. Good to know. If I can use... I don't think I can use their uh, their fire weapon against them, but that really would be fun. I mean, this is really not that big a deal. I'm not saying this is a good idea. Not, not in the slightest, but... Hi. Don't throw crap at me. Rude. But I think so long as you take care of these guys and you don't leave a bunch behind you, it's really not that big a deal, right? I mean, yes, it would have been easier to go a different direction. Would have certainly been safer, but I don't think it would have been as satisfying. I can basically now say I ran through this area and just annihilated all of them. And I feel pretty good about myself because of that. So, eh, you know, a little external validation. Let's go up here. Kind of come up onto this area and see what we got in here. Wooden Great Shield. I wanted to take a look at the, uh, whatever that was, the torch, torch spear, torch something, torch pole, there you go. Torch fastened to a long pole, lights up dark areas but cannot be raised overhead, used by soldiers on watch, its attacks set foes aflame. Who knew? Who knew? Would have never guessed that's the case. We'll let our health slowly trickle back up because we have the talisman attached, attached, worn, wearing, equipped. That does that. It's very handy. Oh, we got a pike. Excellent. And a rune. Oh, hi. How you doing? My bad. I didn't mean to ignore you. I feel kind of bad now. Got his gauntlets. Oh, this is kind of cool now. We're basically where we had been before. Because remember, we basically went across over there, right? So we could, what we could have done is we could have run across there. We could have dropped into this building right here and then come in behind ev and murdered everyone from behind. But um, where's the fun in that, right? Where's the fun in that? I don't know either. Here, let's, uh, just for argument's sake, let's try Misericord. I want to see. Uh, my bad. I totally messed that up. I wanted to, to get a, a nice comparison. I meant to... Ooh, we got his armor. Here, let's try... that. 476... Yep, 
I have some iframes because I'm in the middle of doing a thing. Hi. And then, let's see if we can circle this guy and get around him. Just for comparison, 350. That's why Misericord is interesting. It's completely unupgraded. It has no real bonuses right now. And yet, it did more damage than our... I don't know, what is this? Plus six? Our plus six twin blade. I mean, from what I have seen of the game, a crit is not a crit is not a crit. Wow, I think we might have the full set of armor now, except for maybe the helmet. Do we have the exile? No, we do. We have the exile hood. We have the full... The full thing, we can do some exile cosplay. I mean, I'm not necessarily super interested in reading through all of it. Well, actually, you know what? I am kind of curious. Uh, damaged armor draped with a large, deep red cloth worn by soldiers sent to the penal colonies. Okay. So basically, uh, this is not the place you want to go, is, is what I'm hearing, guessing. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, we're getting some extra runes. We're getting some butterflies. We're getting some mushrooms. I'm good with all of those things. Oh, we got some magic grease. There's going to be more stuff to get over here, too. We are not done by a long shot. Got a smithing stone one. That's excellent. We can put that toward our misericord. I suspect the misericord is going to be a weapon that we now use. Oh, hi. How you doing? Yep. My bad. Nope. I can hit you twice fast enough. We got some fire arrows. It's interesting, there had been an item on the ground here that I got that my friends did not. I bet what it was is I killed this guy and got his axe because there is not a weapon to pick up over here. Very interesting. It's funny how that stuff works out. I was so confused because I was convinced I didn't pick it up off an enemy and yet, pretty sure I just picked it up off an enemy when I did that. We have some rats in here, so that's why I'm going a little sneaky sneaky. I don't think we can target these guys that are over here. Maybe we can. Can we get close enough to target you? Not what I was trying to do. Not what I was trying to do. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Don't ask me why I hit the other button. I have no... no clue. I don't like rats in this game. I think we've covered this about 13,000 times and we will probably cover it a little more. Okay, so we could have gone behind the back way here where there's all this meat just hanging and drying. But we would have missed the joy of attacking rats from straight ahead. Joy, he says. Uh, we need another key, so let's use one. I have no idea how many we have left, but I'm pretty sure we have used at least two this episode, if I can count. Let's check the chest on the left. God Slayer's Seal. And we'll check the chest on the right. The God Skin Prayer Book. And then we're going to come right over here. And I said before that I know exactly where this is because we were down there before. We weren't up here, but we were right down below where we are here. It's just kind of interesting, right? The level design is just outrageously good. The intentionality behind everything... Oh, it's so good. It's just so good. Let's stop and check out those items we just picked up. So one of them is going to be over here because it's a seal. This is one of the things I'm using on my other character with my friends, if I can find it. Sacred seal of the Godskin Apostles, or Apostles? Not sure. Inlaid with obsidian. Said to represent the manipulation of black flame, this catalyst enhances Godslayer incantations. And then that's going to be something that goes with uh, this guy right here. A prayer book bound in supple skin. Incantations of the god slaying black flame are written within. Can be given to a cleric to learn access to the following incantations. Black flame and black flame blade. So that seal is literally meant to go with that prayer book and the books, the uh, incantations that are in that book. And I got to tell you, black flame is a hoot. It's pretty good. It's not like crazy overpowering or anything. It's not like you hit something with it once and then whatever it is, regardless, dies. Like these guys, yeah, I could probably kill them in one hit from 
from Black Flame with a little bit of uh, faith in the God Slayer seal. This guy up here, probably not so much. But overall, it's pretty cool. I haven't messed with Black Flame Blade just yet because the weapon I'm using in my other playthrough with my friends is the scythe that we picked up at some point, which is a holy weapon. So because it's already more or less infused with holy, it cannot be infused with anything else. You do have a dog there. That is very, very annoying. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll do this. Here, let's go ahead and uh, throw the fire pot at the dog. Completely miss. My bad. I didn't mean to crouch there. I do like that you hit your own dog, though. I feel bad for your dog. That's, that's not cool, man. Don't mistreat your animals. I mean, that's your pet, and here you are hitting it. Ah, this guy. Okay. This guy has a lot of poise. It's okay. We'll take care of him, I promise. I might just end up running him around a little bit, but we will. It'll be just fine. Now, interesting thing to note here is that there is a statue with some shiny stuff coming out of it. This guy, I, if I can get him to attack here, I'm trying to bait him into an attack. Go ahead. I don't know that that actually hit. Oh, hi. I didn't realize you could do that. Got it. He cannot open up that statue. We've seen before where those statues can be opened by the big ogre guys bashing into them. But this guy cannot. Okay, your attacks are a little slower than I think. Which means I need to not dodge as early. Got it. There we go. I knew I could get at least a tiny stagger on him. The thing is, I have to be baiting the right attack. That one has more poise, I think. If I remember right, I think this guy can be circled around and backstabbed anyway, but that's okay. That wasn't too bad. I mean, I was sloppy as crap there. I totally recognize that, but that wasn't bad. There's a painting in here. Let's check this guy out. The Prophecy Painting. Okay, I want to look at that. So that should be over here, right? The painter is said to have captured the landscape scene during the last moments of those welcomed into death's embrace. The soul of the painter and vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. I still don't know where any of these things are. I say any of them like we have bunches. We have two. I have no idea where they are. I mean, maybe at some point I'll remember and go, this looks kind of familiar. I wonder if this is that thing. Maybe, maybe not. Not really sure yet. We'll find out. Let's keep going just a, a touch more. I do want to kind of wrap this episode up, but... Ah, uh, you. Okay. Yeah. These guys, not too bad if I can get both hits of my jump attack on them. So long as I'm able to do that, it seems to do an okay job of taking care of them. It basically is enough damage that it, it breaks their poise. And then they're, you know, they have problems essentially is what happens. So let's go ahead and get him to come over here. I'm gonna back away from any of the fire. Um, maybe that, that one swing is enough. Okay, I mean, that was okay. I still feel a little clumsy fighting these guys. But we've done an okay job with them, so overall I'm not feeling too bad about that. Let's go up here, so we got over here. There's a dude. Just stood on the barrel there slightly. Okay. Thank you for your runes. I do appreciate it. Ooh, smithing stone too. I don't think we have many of these right now. Hi, kitty. How you doing? Curl up. So we've got seven. We're going to be able to do two upgrades on Misericord, because I think I want to upgrade that. The idea of being able to have a really high damaging critical attack weapon just appeals to me. So I think it's one that I want to go ahead and invest in. Now we're going to need more, more, more. Did I say more? Because we're going to need more smithing stones to make that work. You are a fine warrior. 
Your only mistake was your choice of master. Let the winds lift you to a higher place. I forgot you were here. Hello. Well, who do we have here? Tarnished, are you? Clearly not one of Godric's lot. I am Nefeli Lu. Tarnished and warrior like you. I'm here by decree of my father. How utterly repellent this is. This grafting of Godric's ill befits a lord. He's tainted the very winds. I tend to agree. If you intend to challenge Godric, I ask you call upon me. The winds run foul with his deeds. I'm certain father would permit me aid the fight. Apologies, but I've idled long enough. As fellow tarnished, we must each follow our own guidance. Down whatever road takes us to the throne of Elden Lord. Alrighty then. Apologies, as fellow tarnished. Down whatever. I think that's our cue to leave. So, Nathalie Lou. Uh, hi, can I get over here? Thanks. Smithing Stone 1, I will take it. No complaints. None whatsoever. I mean, that dude... I mean, looking at this guy, this is... Uh, this is one of those guys that we've seen before, I think, right? The helmet, the bird on it and everything. Have we? Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we haven't. Might be thinking of just the regular guys we see running around the broad... Or the, uh, the halberds and the big uh, great swords. I don't know. Golden Seed, we'll definitely take that. We've got a couple of guys over there. And I want to maybe see if I can get into this alleyway first. Go ahead and take that. Smithing stone too. Look at that. I was literally just saying we could use some more smithing stones. That's excellent. Oh, dang it. Hi. I want to get rid of this guy's friends. Oh, that was a throwing throwing knife. A kukri to the face. How you doing? Let's get one of those on you. So I said earlier, there's a thing over here. In that you open these things by way of these big troll giant things. Well, we got one. Let's go ahead and use it. Come along, sir. Ow, I forgot you do that. I always forget that you guys do that until you do that. And then I have regrets. Hi. You're big enough that you're not going to get out of the way. I know how this works. Okay, I'm just going to kind of maybe run around a little bit. Make sure you're coming along. Uh, totally wasted a pot there, but that's okay. Got his attention either way. He's, he's coming along. Okay. So let us stand right here. And we'll just kind of bait another attack. There we go. Perfect. He just walked right into it for us. Ow. Okay. Oh. Well, crap. Don't I feel dumb? I want to say maybe I don't remember how much health that guy actually has. Here, let's just pick up our runes and stuff, and we're going to ignore this guy. Or how much health my character has, or I'm used to my other character. I don't know. I just played that very, very poorly. I think that much is, is absolutely clear. I, I'm just going to sit and reset these guys if I can. Oh, you just wrecked your dog again. You're just awful. Here. I, I honestly, I don't feel like fighting this guy. I'm totally good with this, seriously. I mean, actually, this is what I was going to do. As I was going to come over here and grab this grace as soon as we were done. Although, that reminds me that there's another one that we need that's nearby, too. I don't think this does anything? Nope, this one does. This one unlocks another shortcut that'll take us, I think, back to a different area. And then this guy... Doesn't open from this side. Right, right. But I, I wanted to... I'm trying to tell where this goes to. Just maybe to use as a guide for how to get the door open. I'm not sure. So let's go grab the other grace just to kind of wrap this up. And then I'll feel slightly better about things. We did get the smithing stones, the one and two, from that uh, big statue thing. So that's all good there. Hi. 
might not be able to make it through here at this rate. I mean, the birds are the problem. Everyone else I can easily run past. Here, we should be fine now. We'll just kind of make sure we're hiding behind stuff. So we know we got a couple of guys there. We killed them before. Not a big deal. What we're going to do, though, is go right over here. And we'll activate this grace. And then I'm just going to go ahead and sit so that they will all reset and we can have ourselves a moment of quiet. And then we're going to go across the way over here because there's a guy over there. There's actually a couple of few things to do over here now that I think about it. So here, we'll just do that. And I probably should have waited until it was... until we were closer, but that's fine. I think we'll be all right. And then hi. Let's make sure we get you. So we got After War Stormcaller, and there are a bunch of little jars up here. And there's also a big jar. This is by far one of the weirdest rooms I think I've seen in the game thus far. And I feel like a total heal doing this. Like, absolute utter heal. I mean, on the one hand, they did attack me. I was not attacking them. But on the other hand, this just feels really... Oh. I thought it'd be hilarious to use this, but I don't think I can get a crit from where we were. I don't know, it's just... There's just a lot of disturbing about all of this. Basically just killed this giant pot, and I, I mean... Jar, whatever. And I'm pretty sure these are... Hey. These are its children. I'm just gonna kind of leave them, because I feel kind of bad about doing that. But we will get ourselves a free cracked pot. And another free cracked pot, which I do feel pretty good about grabbing those going to ignore you guys. I'm so sorry for all the things. And is there any way we can go over here? It looks like we can. That might be a way we need to explore. But there's an item over here. We shall grab this. More kukri. Excellent. So some of them went into storage. And the others refilled our current content 30. So I think... Man, we only have 11,000? Is that it? Wow. I was going to say, I was wondering if maybe we have enough for a level. We could take care of that real quick, but I don't think that's enough. Oh, it is. It's just barely enough. That's great. That's really good news. I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put another point into Vigor. I forget what I said I was going to do. I think I said I was going to put it into Dexterity. But honestly, I think after today and my idiocy, it's clear I need more Vigor. We're going to call it an episode right here. I will probably start us at uh, maybe the round table hold for the next one. Because I'm pretty sure we've got a little bit of stuff to do over there. But for right now, we shall call this one good. I will catch you next one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.